Hey guys, welcome back to Closet MTG. And today, guys, we're cracking yet another box of Modern Horizons 2 Draft Boosters. Um, we've got an interesting case for you guys, though, today. Today, this is a box I got from Amazon. As you know, Wizards has been shipping a lot of their excess product to Amazon um, at a fraction of the original selling price. Um, this box is somewhat suspect, in my opinion. I mean, the bubble wrapping, first of all, the packaging is very loose. The bubble wrapping is seems somewhat like suspect on the ends and it just seems a little strange so I, mean, I know there's been some some talk of some shadiness going on at amazon now that wizards and amazon are essentially in bed with each other so to speak um so yeah i mean we're gonna see if this is one of those dud boxes will that will will we get no mythics will we get like zero fetch lands will we just get bulk cards i mean did somebody take out all the good stuff um yeah tune in let's see see if we can crack some goodness guys see how loose this thing is man and even like the box is like i mean it's already like somewhat opened i don't know it's somewhat some somewhat suspect but um, yeah even this back here man this is so like i don't know man it seems really sketchy <laughs> hopefully we get some good stuff guys i mean i'm still short shooting for that praying for the force of negation guys praying for urza i'm sick of <laughs> well not sick but let's see if we can avoid getting a yavi maya um i feel like every other box or draft box i get either yavi maya or or a uh, scion of draco is my like specialty card i usually you get from my experience in, in opening these draft boxes guys is usually you get like one um specialty like border card uh, that's like a mythic or rare or something from modern horizons and like the special showcase um, and I've gotten, I think, like, at least two or three in these draft boxes, the Yavi Maya um, special border or etched foil. Um, so let's see if we can break that curse. I mean, even though Yavi Maya is a good card, I'm just kind of sick of pulling it. It'd be nice to pull something extra special, extra special. Oh, my God. As we speak of it, we get Yavi Maya. Oh, my God. What is going on, man? All right, so yeah, that's, I mean, it's a hit. We're definitely going to call that a hit, guys. I'm not gonna like discount the fact that we that that I mean the card's a great card. I'm just for me personally, I'm just kind of tired of pulling it. So that's gonna be in the hit slot for sure. We'll have our fetch land slot, mythic slot, the way we usually do it, guys. Also keep tabs on DRC. How many DRCs can we pull? That's that five dollar uncommon, guys. And uh, yeah, fly through these commons, guys. Since there's really not much in the common slot, we're trying to make this video somewhat short. And there is something spicy in the back there. I see. Um, whoa, we got our Aaron Mesa. Hopefully this is a fetch land box. It would not be, not be, what is this? Okay, all right. Wow, okay, foil uncommon. Is there something else back here? Okay, there's just the food token. All right, I thought there was something extra spicy back there, but we got our fetch lands, guys. Uh, fetch land slot, we'll put right there. We got our rare slot and our hit slot, and then right here we'll put our regular rares and our mythics and so forth. Come on, let's fly through these commons, guys. You guys don't care about the commons. Let's go right to the uncommons. And no DRC. We got our Enchantress Presence, guys. I think this is... I definitely would spec on this card. I think this card has got a good... Uh, well, actually, no, it's not this one. Never mind. There's another card. Ooh, Solitude for our first Mythic. I'll stop talking. Nonsense. Definitely in the hit slot, guys. Um, so we'll go Mythic, followed by hit slot. Keep everything organized. And I got to be able to keep it organized. I don't know how many of these boxes I've opened, my God. Make sure it, it stays nice for you guys on camera. All right, here we go. Commons, Vanguard, Junk Wonder, Flame Rift, followed by, we got a General Ferris Rockerick and a Thopter Token. All right. So we got one fetch, one good mythic in solitude. Um, definitely would not call that a bulk mythic at, at all. See if we can pull Titania. Me and Titania, we have a special relationship. Um, yeah, let's just say that card I've been able to pull pretty much in every product that I open. Gorilla Shaman, we've got some extra spiciness here, guys. Rise and Shine, followed by a Foil Foul Watcher and a token. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. Can we pull the Esper Sentinel? Can we pull Dothai? Okay, how many DRCs can we pull, guys? DRC, nope, Cursed Totem. Very nice, followed by a Etched Magus of the Bridge. Very nice, and a Title Shaper, Merfolk. Wow, that's, 
Very nice, man. Not etched. Very nice card. Very, I mean, beautiful card. When I say very nice, beautiful card. Okay. Got halfway through the first stack. Come on, baby. Where's that money? God, I just love opening this product, guys. Like, I literally have a pack cracking addiction, man. It's so much fun cracking this stuff. We got green, what green, a Sylvan Anthem. So we can add that to my list of Sylvan Anthems. And so far, this does not seem like a, a dumpster fire box. I mean, we got one fetch, we got the mythic. I mean, the, the good mythic. So I mean, maybe, maybe this is just some, my eyes, it was just a bad, bad pack job by wizards, you know? Cabal Coffers, baby, for the mythic, that's awesome. Oh my God. Archon double mythic pack guys. Whoa. Okay. All right. So maybe like the loose pack draft boxes have all the good stuff. <laughs> I mean, that was a bomb pack guys. Holy hell, man. Cabal coffers. We'll take that every day of the week. Batter bone combined chrysalis bone shredder and oh my God. Okay. We got the chronologist. I'm guessing looks like chronologist. Yep, Lonus Chronologist, and we got something else back here, guys. A Foil Unmarked Grave, very nice. We'll definitely take that, and a Treasure Token. Oh, man. I wish I could just open up this product, like, all day, every day. Like, if that was my job, just to open up this product and not even sell it, just keep all the cards. Like, it's so much f Oh, DRC shows, his, shows her face. Now we're going to put that in a hit slot, guys, <laughs> since it, even though it is a cheap uncommon... I mean, uh, it's only an uncommon, but still, in my eyes, that's definitely a hit. Preach the Fell Rights and a Squirrel Token. All right, oh, we're already 10 packs in, man. I wish I could slow this down and just really enjoy cracking this stuff. I mean, I mean, not that I'm not enjoying it now, but just like, God, it's so much fun, man. So much fun because you never know. I think it's just for me personally, it's the fetch. Like, I just have not opened a lot of fetch land products before or products that have fetch land in it. Thought monitor, nice, and a clue token. All right, so we're about, this is officially third, This with this pack, we'll be officially third way through the box, guys. So far, one fetch, uh, three mythics. I mean, actually, I, I, oh, there we go. Brainstone, it's a decent uncommon. Slag Strider, and a Seal Cleansing followed by, come on, something spicy, something spicy. Come on, Misty Rainforest for the second fetch. That is awesome, baby. All right, two fetches. So, so far, we're a third of the way through, guys. Quick recap, three mythics, two fetches. DRC, Yavi Maya. This is a solid box opening so far, guys. So, I definitely, so far, I mean, unless, like, we just get bulk the rest of the way, um, I'm thinking that this is, there was nothing wrong with this box. This was an actual, legit box that I got from Amazon. Riptide Lab Laboratory and a Dress Down. Um for our first pack of stack number two. This will be officially pack number 14 we're cracking. If I did the math right quickly in my head. But yeah, guys, this is such a fun product to open. Terramore Braids, come on, mi Minion. Not a big fan of Braids, even though I'm sure she has fun. Profane Tutor, lots of tutors. I mean, I feel like you get like a tutor a box pretty much my opinion there's definitely a ton of those out there which is good though i mean because like it's a card that you could slot into any edh deck and it's going to be definitely the price will be suppressed I and mean, i'm sure it's just because nowhere to go but up until it reprint until it gets reprinted which will probably be like a few years from now although maybe it'll show up like in some secret layer or something like that since the withers wizards keeps doing that and a mages of the bridge so we're getting lots of mages of the bridge our second mages of the bridge getting better at opening these packs guys so only uh it's almost like there's an art to it or something like that all right squirrel sovereign for the squirrel tribe we got the drifter slag strider counterspell nice to get one more drc that'd be sweet and oh here we go what is this soul talisman old school border this is sweet man this is definitely gonna go in an edh deck man i you know what i'm gonna put this as a hit in my opinion maybe not value wise but i mean it's like a delayed soul ring for free or well not necessarily i mean yeah it is for free you just gotta you speed it up you pay the suspend cost but anyway guys we'll definitely take that that's very nice very nice come on see if we can get how many fetches can we get guys i mean so far we've gotten two good fetches can we keep get can we get as many as can we get five that'd be sweet cart the lion 
I think every time I pull this card, I mentioned that it's definitely going to go on my Atraxa EDH deck. Definitely want to try that out for size. Try out Karth. Um, fly through these commons, guys. How many... How many DRCs can we pull? We got the Vindicate. It's a double rare pack, potentially. And a Soul Talisman. Another Soul Talisman, guys. And a Foil. Wow, that pack was pretty good. Double rare pack, guys. Still looking for our specialty... Um, specialty card. Usually you get, like, one of those uh, specialty, like, Mythics or Fetch Lands in each of these draft boxes, from my experience. Um, I think I have had a box or two where I did not, but, I mean, there is that opportunity to pull it. You have my Elder for the old school and a Cyan, a Draco. I did not, at least it's not the specialty version for Mythic number four. And we're making our way through this through this box pretty quickly, guys. I'm getting definitely getting better at opening these, these boxes, <laughs> even though it is such a rush to open, man. Holy hell. DRC, can we get another DRC? And we got a, this is the card, guys. I I think this card, I mean, I'll say it, I said it in my last video, and I'll say it again. I think this card is gonna just slowly tick up in price. I mean, it's it, it, it's it reminds me of it's like um well, like a poor man's what the hell is that ca that card called? Bloom tender, like a poor man's bloom tender almost. Because um, in EDH, I mean, typically you're running enchantments, man, and like. Especially if you have an enchantment build. I mean, I think you drop that and you could tap it for like four or five mana. I mean, I just think it's, it's solid. I think I saw something spicy back there, guys. Whoa. S okay. This is the other one, guys. Sanctum Weaver and Synthus Harvest Hand Foil. This card right here, another one, I think is just has the ability to just be broken, in my opinion. Synthus Harvest Hand, another card that I think will slowly take up in price. Um... And uh, definitely, this is the first printing of it, I believe. It's the first printing. It's a new card from Modern Horizons 2. Um, so I think it has uh, the ability to show up in a lot of... Could be double rare pack. Oh, baby! Verdant Catacombs! That's what I'm talking about for fetch land number three. Guys, it's looking more like we're getting a fetch land box, guys. Can we get all five? That would be so cool if we pulled a Scalding Tarn and a Marsh Flats, man. If we get all five, I've yet to see a video on YouTube. I have heard though that it, like it has happened. Um, I mean, I haven't like been like like searching for it on YouTube. I'm sure there's like I'm sure like if you probably searched for it at a time, if you uh, looked for it, you may be able to find something on YouTube where somebody's cracked all five fetches. But it's so cool to do it on my channel. I would absolutely love to share that with you guys. Show that it is possible to crack all five fetches. Um, especially if we got like, a foil one. We pull like a foil one here, guys. That would be so sweet. And a Fortune's Flame. This is the card that you get for free in the uh, in those bundles. So that card is going to be worth pennies in the dollar. So really, that's probably a low pack. And now, guys, we're on the last last 12 packs already, man. We're flying in this video today, guys. Let's see if we can keep it less than 20 minutes. Timeless Witness. Okay, guys, I think we got some spicy back here. Oh, no, just a foil. Timeless Dragon. I opened a collector box. Uh, actually, I think it was my last collector box video. I think we pulled like a play set of Timeless Dragons, you know? Like, it's like enough with the Timeless Dragons, man. My card is just not gonna see much play unless you have like an EDH Dragon build or something like that. And even then, like, I mean, there's a lot better dragons to play than that, in my opinion. Zern Orb. And a damn. We will definitely take damn, man. That's a good card. You know what? I'm not gonna put that in the hit slot, but still, I mean, it's. It's a decent card, man. Decent card. Got that overload ability where you can just wipe the board. Arcbound, Altar of Goyf, Fire and Ice. This card used to be an uncommon, but they upgraded to rare. And a, ah, actually it's a rare. A uh, Calibrated Blast. Damn, it'd be so sweet to pull Monkey. I've been, I, mean, I pulled Monkey on a pre-release kit recently. Um, I have three, so far we pulled three monkeys. It'd be nice to pull one more monkey so I got a play set. Um, so then I can, there's a modern deck that I'm looking to, to build potentially with monkey. See if I can pull one more monkey. Murktide region, I'll definitely take that mythic. Very nice, very nice. Definitely, uh, I'd definitely take that over Titania, man. I've pulled so many Titanias. Um, or even the, the big angel. 
They did pull Sion Draco. That's another one that I can't, I mean, I can't help myself but pull for whatever reason. And we got the Pure of the Volatile, which seems to be, again, another rare that I get in every box. Approaching the end here, guys. And, I mean, I mean, unless these last few packs have some spice, I mean, this definitely isn't, a like, an overpowered box. Um, I'd say this is probably right on average, maybe a little below averaging. Noble Hierarch's definitely a hit, guys. We'll throw in the hit slot and a step-through foil and a squirrel token. So we have six packs to go. So one six of the box left, flying that he guys, definitely gonna finish in less than 20 minutes, which is nice. Shows that I'm definitely getting better at cracking this stuff. Rageous, chain or nightmare, we got another rare back here guys, hopefully, whoa. Turok, we got Turok, man. Extender, very nice for mythic number one, two, three, four, five, six mythics, three fetches. God. Gavi Maya, DRC, Ignoble Hierarch. Where is that Esper Sentinel, though? Be nice to pull another Esper Sentinel. See if we can pull that Esper Sentinel on the close here. Sterling Grove, another rare here, another rare, another rare. And a Synthus, double Synthus box. Very nice. Card that, like I said, there's some, definitely going to spec on a little bit. Not, not that I'm going to go out and buy a bunch, but I'm, I'm, I wouldn't, it would not surprise me if it turns into like a $5, $10, $15 dollar card at some point. Um, it's just for uh, its usage in Commander. Shardless Agent and a Persist. Three packs to go, guys. Can we end this box with a uh, on a bang, on a great note? That would be so sweet. That would be epic. Can we pull another DRC here in the close? Soul Snare. We're going to slow roll these last three packs, guys. Master of Death followed by a token. That's it. Two packs to go. Um, yeah, I mean, really, ah, the more that I look at this, guys, I'd say it's, I mean, we got Verdant, we got Misty. I'd say this is definitely a somewhat powered down box, maybe a little below average, unless we can pull something really spicy here in the close. Come on, can we end on something really nice? Mythic, Sword of Hearth and Home, that's definitely a hit, guys. Very nice. Last pack. Come on, let's get like a Scalding Tarn or Monkey and just set this thing through the roof. Or let's get our specialty card that's typically in a collect in a collector box, the Retro Frame. Come on, last four of the cards here. Come on, DRC. Let's get two DRCs. No, no two DRCs. Chance Encounter for the rare. Followed by, come on, baby, Monkey, 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 Monkey. Oh, Blood Brave Marauder. They teased us, guys. Um, I I definitely think this is a legit box, guys. I mean, with all the value here, I mean, the the fact that we got two legit, well, three three legit fetch lands. I mean, two really legit ones in Misty and Verdant. The Sword is definitely a hit. Uh, Turok decent, Murktide region decent, Scion decent, Archon decent. But Cabal offers is a is a big hit. Solitude's a hit, and for the rares, Ignoble's definitely a hit. Soul Talisman, I just I mean, it's gonna go into EDH decks. Looks so nice. Our DRC for the box and Yavi Maya. So overall, guys, yeah, I mean, no complaints. This was definitely a legit box. I mean, got a decent foil rare and sent this the Harvest Hand. Um, overall, yeah, three fetches and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven mythics. Three decent rares or two decent rares in my opinion. Overall, can't complain, guys. Absolutely love this product. Um, yeah, so look forward in terms of uh, next Modern Horizons openings. Um, we got a, another bundle I want to crack and one more pre release kit, probably. Um, and then we'll see, guys. Like I said, I kind of have an addiction in opening this stuff. So maybe we'll uh, we'll crack another one of these in the upcoming week or so. We'll see. Or, or like one or two weeks. We'll see. Especially if the prices keep dropping. Like if this thing drops to like 200 or less than 200 a box, I mean, I don't know how you can not try to like open one of these things, you know, like, or just buy it and like, cause I mean, think about it. I mean, like, unless Wizards starts like continuously reprinting fetch lands, I mean, these things are just going to go up in price slowly over time. I mean, and I mean, uh, there's just so much value and I just think like it's, it's, it's a good opportunity. I mean, if you want to definitely get some good cars, some good commander staples, some stuff for modern, um, there's a lot of opportunity here and especially at the prices being that they are, I mean, I, I would recommend it. I mean, if you got the extra cash to buy one of these boxes and just play draft with some friends or something like that. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, please like subscribe with the bell icon and we will catch you all very soon for the next MTG related video. Take care, everyone.